Hey, how's it going? 185 centimeters of vintage toys to unpack. I know it's about that because I'm 185 centimeters, at least uh, according to my passport, so that should be uh, true, right? Well, maybe I'm cheating a bit because, I mean, I stood one of these boxes up on its side, but I thought it was kind of fun, so I hope you forgive me. And as always, I saved up uh, quite a few boxes uh, to open all at once, you know, makes it kind of like Christmas any time of year. And these uh, should be from about the last six weeks. There should be quite a mix of stuff in here since I collect a lot of different kind of toys but mainly I think this time it's uh, toy soldiers from the 70s. And as always I'll uh, go from uh, small to uh, large. I'll try to let you know how much I pay for them and also why I bought them which I don't even know myself sometimes but you know how it goes. Uh, Saturday evening a few beers and eBay and all of a sudden you're broke. So I collect all these toys because I think it's a lot of fun right? Uh, I'm not an expert in any era or brand, but I think I know quite a bit about certain things. But if you catch me saying something that's wrong, please uh, let me know in the comments below. Because that helps me out learning more and actually all, everybody watching also can learn something new. Also, if you have any uh, questions about the stuff I unpack or collecting in general, just let me know below. Makes it kind of fun, you know, connecting with other people that enjoy all the same stuff. And remember and enjoy all these old toys. But anyways, that's enough of me babbling about this. And let's just open some vintage toy boxes. So, first uh, of the small ones. This is a set that I really like. Um, I don't really collect much of the old HO scale figures. But I really like the, the box art on this one. Very old school, very cool. And I'm thinking about doing kind of a display with, with some kind of a frame or box or something like that with some LED lights and some of the figures in there. This is very cool. This should be sometime in the 50s, right? And I think, what did I pay for this one? I have to have a look. Yeah, I paid uh, 20 euros for this one. I got it from a Swedish auction site. Cool. Uh, let's grab another one. That's right. I, was, I marked all these to, uh, where they came from. So it's because uh, I kind of like that. This one is from Germany. So this is actually the latest set ever made by Airfix uh, as far as toy soldiers go. This is actually made in 2011, so that's under the Hornsby, Hornby, I should say, <laughs> ownership. Uh, so these are all brand new sculpts in here. Yeah, some pretty nice figures in here actually. There's an Airfix, or I should say a 172nd scale website i'll link it below that they review on these and they had some comments about as far as the clothing and everything go but i think the poses are really cool i'm going to do a video on this later when i do a whole um, video on the on the 172nd ho scale british infantry sets that airfix made over the years kind of cool i like it so next one let's do some uh, flat ones Nice. I got this from Sweden. Just uh, one of the Airfix catalogs I don't have. Looks to be in very nice condition. This should be 12th edition. I'm not sure what year that is. Please let me know. I can't remember off, off the top of my head. And you got all the cool stuff. All the 132nd scale ready made and everything here. So it's very nice. Another catalog. Another flat package from Greece this time. Another catalog, not uh, the regular Airfix catalogs though. This is for the toys they made back in the 70s. Always wanted to get one of these catalogs because I wanted to try to collect some of these things. Uh, maybe not the Weebles, but <laughs> what else is in here? Oh, some cool games, yeah. I like this, this is fun. Oh, it's got the flight command in here and the air traffic control games. I want to get those, the Waterloo as well. Oh, this is a good picture. Catalogs, I love them. It's a lot of fun to collect, I think. Another small one. This one is from England. Brown box, uh, Russians. I have mainly been collecting the target boxes for the 132nd scale. But I wanted to get all the brown boxes because I want to do like a series on all these first uh, eight or nine that came out in the brown boxes. So these were painted, but that's fine. I'll just run these in my ultrasonic cleaner and they 
come out as new again. So cool, uh, brown box. It's another one from England, kind of beat up. I hope it's uh, okay in there. Yep, looks like they made it through, but I don't think that's a very good way of sending something to a different country. Two of the 14 piece boxes. This is the 83, 84 box. MPC, General Mills manufacturer. This is the later one, the 86, I believe, right? Yeah, under Humbrol. I didn't have any of these. I'm not sure why I bought this, but I think I got them pretty, pretty cheap. So I paid uh, 18 pounds for this one, and I think I paid 27 pounds for the paratroopers. It's pretty cool. Let's see if they're in good condition too. Yeah, uh, getting to be at this time it was a little bit harder plastic than the ones we're used to, and a little bit more shiny as well. I mean, they're green. Usually the paratroopers are gray in uh, one thirty second scale. Here's one from uh, Sweden. Cool. Airfix ready-made Cromwell tank. Missing the antennas, but I didn't buy this one to, to um, get a perfect one. Oh, I see. There was one antenna in the bag. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's kind of worn, but I'm using this for a little project later this year in the summer. So I'm trying to get as many of these uh, 132nd scale soft plastic ready-made ready -made vehicles. I think I have five Cromwell tanks at the moment. And this one, I, I, like I said, I got it from Sweden and I paid about 35 euro, euros for it. So I think that's a fair price. Another small box, this one from Germany. Once again, one of those uh, things, I don't even know why I buy this. This one is kind of spotted. It's not in great condition. The back is in good condition though. I wonder how the figures are. Only pay 20 euros from this one and shipping from Germany is not too bad to Sweden. And then you can see, you know, back in the 70s they were gray. And then in the 80s they turned uh, green. <laughs> American paratroopers, but I didn't have this box. I like this. I think this this color scheme with these soldiers and everything I think maybe this is the best um, Put together artwork of the the um, Target boxes or not put together, but you know what I mean? I really like everything just looks really cool together Some other has some funky colors that I don't understand why you know with almost pink and stuff But this is very cool nice box another one from England Another one for the brown box uh, collection. This is in very nice shape, actually. This is cool. This is so early. So there's only one, two, three, four, five other sets at the time. So it's only six sets at the time. This was released in about 1969. Let's see how the figures look. Oops. Yeah, these looks. Yeah, these are really nice. Very nice condition. Always interesting while you make. What do you make the kneeling rifleman without a plate and then you make the mortar guy with a plate these were a pain to yeah like you can tell these were a pain to get him to stand up playing with them as a kid so another one for the brown box collection really cool this one is super pretty i think oh i forgot to say i paid what did i pay for those japanese guys uh, i can't even find it on my little list here on the on the ipad yeah i forgot to put that one down there no 18 pounds i paid for them Another one, this one is from Italy. Cool, <laughs> what? this is the brown box. I said, like I said also earlier, there's a lot of the 70s uh, toy soldiers in this, this lot here. But yeah, this one also for the brown box collection. Figures looks, yeah, they look really nice and clean and the box is very nice, very, very nice. This one came out a little bit later. This one came out in 1972 because it's got the round badge. Um, and this one, the older ones from 69 had the rectangular badge here. What do you want to call it? The, the logo type. Uh, so these only were out for about a year. And of course the Russians and all the other sets also came out in 1972 with the round one. So they actually are a little bit harder to find than these. But I came, this one, I only paid like 20 euros for it, which I think is kind of a steal because this is also a very nice box. Cool. Last one of the small ones. These, this one seems to be from Sweden.
Ooh, that's right. <laughs> I didn't remember this one. Oh, this is so cool. I love the Mashbox Super King. Super Kings. This is a little bit later one. Um, this should be an early 80s, I believe. I'm not that good with uh, the Super Kings or Matchbox in general. But I really like farm vehicles, work vehicles, you know, trucks, forklifts, tractors, everything like that. So this one, I, you know, I came by for not that much money. I think I paid about 30 euros for this. Yeah, there's a little bit of holes in the, in the cellophane, but it's still cool. This is going to go on the shelf for sure. You get the sheepdog and all the sheep and the herder. Really cool. The Unimog looks really small though compared to the, the, the sheep herder. Let's see if I can even fit these under the camera because they're quite big. This is from England. Cool. Um, little Japanese Chiha tank. Suppos supposedly Airfix were um, making more of these ready-made when they uh, went uh, bankrupt. This is a CTS. I'm not sure if this is a Airfix uh, copy or not, but I have a but I have a little plan for this one and then also Another see if I can get it out another another Cromwell tank this one is painted so this was is one is going into the the cleaner and also I got one of the Bedford trucks I bought this from guy named Terry. Oh, this one broke in shipping. That's too bad. I'll have to glue it back together. I bought these from a guy named Terry in England uh, that hooks me up with a lot of Airfix stuff. And I get, guess he, he gave me some sandbags here. I'm not sure what brand these are. Cool. Let's see. Germany, I wrote in this one. Nice. Um, the last ones of the brown box sets that I don't have. And again, these are with this type of Airfix logo. Very nice. I think this, to me, is the prettiest box they ever made. I like this artwork. It's super, super nice. Imagine that firepower, right? This is so cool. And then of course, as always, I don't know why I do this, but I guess the guy had um, another set of British infantry. It's all in plastic, which I say I don't collect mint and sealed boxes anymore, but I guess I still do every now and then for some strange reason. So this was just an extra. These are the three ones I really, really wanted. Super cool. So now my brown box collection is complete. Last one, and it's a really big one. This one I got from Sweden. All right, so maybe not the most exciting box to finish off the video with, but uh, one, once again, I'm not sure I bought this. I actually have a complete uh, container port set already with the box and everything, but I got this like for, for like 20 euros or something like that. So I figured why not just get some extras. And I kind of like the thing with having two play sets because then I put them together and imagine being a kid getting two play sets, double the fun, right? So just, just to be a little bit stupid or silly, whatever, I sometimes get um, more than one of the play sets. So this one, I'm gonna clean this up because it looks a little bit dirty, but everything looks fine. This is really cool with the, uh, this is for the containers and then the Harbor Crane. So it's really cool, really good play set. Um, a lot of play value in this. I'll uh, put everything together and do like a little finishing off thing here. So, not a bad haul, I think, the last six weeks. Some, you know, here and there kind of stuff, but mainly the 12 boxes of Airfix Toy Soldiers, of course, is fun. Completing the brown box collection, so I can do a series on those here on YouTube. And then just a couple of more Cromwell tanks I really need for that project I have coming up. And, uh, of course, catalogs. I'm going to put these up on the shelves because they're really pretty artwork, usually. Uh, yeah. That's it for this time. Hopefully you enjoyed it and there'll be more unpacking videos in the future. Take care. Cheers.